Automation on the instrument track provides a free form envelope for each parameter in Massive. Unfold the automation track first, then move the desired control on Massive to update the automation view. You can draw automation with draw mode on, or create and move anchor points by double clicking with the normal mouse pointer when draw mode is off. Automation can also be recorded live while you move the desired parameter with a mouse or a MIDI controller. If you turn off record while you are moving a parameter, session mode will be activated. So to disable it, click the back to arrangement button. Right click the rate modulation slot for LFO5 and select off to unassign it. Then move the rate dial so you can see its automation track. Press undo to return it back to its original position again. Disable draw mode, then double click to add a few breakpoints to the automation line. Then make a similar shape to envelope 3 to replicate its modulation shape. With draw mode on, it's easy to make use of the quantize grid and draw stepped changes. For align the width of a few grid steps, it's easy to draw it to the full value first, then grab it with the mouse pointer to move up and down. Duplicating the MIDI clip will copy the automation data too. However, you can copy just the automation data and apply it to different MIDI sequences. If you have more than one automation envelope used, you can choose Add Lane for each automated envelope, or click the plus and minus icons to add or remove the view of an automation lane. <laughs>